guys. So for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you some really cool versions of the Elmsley count. Now, if you don't know what the Elmsley count is, it's basically a way to show that you have four cards, even if you don't have four cards. And it's also a way to hide a certain card. Usually it will be a way to hide the third card in a pack of four cards. So the Elmsley count, normally looks something like this, but you have a card secretly turned over in the pack. So I'm gonna be showing you some other versions of the Elmsley count, and I do have a normal tutorial for the Elmsley count already on my channel. So if you have not seen this before, please go ahead and check that out because it will help you understand what the Elmsley count is if you don't know how to do it already. But without further ado, I'm gonna be showing you guys these two really interesting variations of the Elmsley count. I'm gonna show you a really fun practice routine that you can also do with these three Elmsley counts together to just continue to practice your fluidity and your smoothness with these Elmsley counts. So without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. So you guys know the normal Elmsley count would look something like this, where if we're going to hide a card in the third position, it would look something like that. But what if we wanted to hide a card that was on the bottom position. So let's say the bottom card was turned over. Well, we can actually do a variation of the Elmsley count, and this one is called the Jordan count, and it looks something like this. So we go one, two, three, four, and just like that, I've actually hidden that bottom card. And the cool thing about the Jordan count is when you're finished with it, it actually puts you in the position for a normal Elmsley count. So then right after, if I wanted to, I can just do a normal Elmsley count right after that. So how do you do the Jordan count? Well, it's actually very similar to a normal Elmsley count. So you wanna start out in the same position as a normal Elmsley count where you take one single card off the top. But instead of pushing off a block now, you're actually going to replace this card that you've already taken back on the bottom and you're actually going to take another single card and you're gonna make sure you use your index finger here to keep the cards from splitting apart too much, but this will be now be the second card. And then for the third card, now you're going to push off the block of two cards, which will conceal that face of card. This will be the third card that you take and then this last one will be placed on top as four. So that's what the Jordan count is. Essentially, instead of doing a single and then a block, you're going to be doing two singles. So you do single, replace, single, push off, and then single. And that's a Jordan count right there. So one more time at full speed, looks something like this. One, two, three, four. And that's the Jordan count. And like I said, right after you do that, you can take this and do a normal Elmsley count right after it. And then you can just go back and forth practicing the Jordan count and then the Elmsley count right after it, just like this. So now you'll never be able to see that face-up card in the pack, even though it's here the entire time. The next Elmsley count variation that I'm gonna teach you is called the OPEC count. And this actually is an acronym and it stands for out of position Elmsley count. And this one is really interesting. And this is actually the way that you wanna hide the card in the second position. So if you wanna do this count, make sure the card that you're gonna hide is in the second position from the top. So to perform the OPEC count, it's very interesting how you begin. So instead of starting out by taking the top card, you're actually gonna start out by taking the bottom card. And you're gonna do this by first getting a break on the bottom card. So now you have a break right underneath the top three cards. And what you're gonna be doing is pretending to take the top card with your thumb, but in reality, you're just gonna be taking the bottom card. So it looks something like this. You're just gonna take that bottom card and this is going to be counted as one. And then once you have this in your hand, you're just gonna to continue to do a normal Elmsley count. You take this card, then you're gonna push off a block and then continue like a normal Elmsley count. So you replace this on the bottom, take the block, and then you go three, four. And that is the OPEC count right there. So it's really interesting because you're taking that bottom card first as one, and then you go two, three, four, and it looks like a normal Elmsley count. And then once you do this, you're actually in the position for a Jordan count. So this is like the practice routine that I like to do. So I start out with my hidden card in the second position, and I start out by doing an OPEC count. So I go one from the bottom, push off a block, two, single, three, and four. Now I'm in the position for a Jordan count, so I do a Jordan count. Single, replace, single, push off, single. And now I'm in the position for one more normal Elmsley count, so I just do a normal Elmsley count like this, and then I can keep looping the Jordan count and Elmsley count after this, but that is like my practice routine. If I wanna keep practicing all these together, I do OPEC, and then Jordan, and then I do the normal Elmsley count. And then just like that, that is like the best practice routine that you can do for practicing these three counts together. And yeah, those are just two really cool variations of the Elmsley count. And these are actually very applicable to real tricks. If you have a packet of four cards or more cards, um, but you wanna hide a certain card in a certain position, 
you don't necessarily have to move it to the third position anymore to do a normal Elmsley count. Now you can have it really in any position. So now if the card is here, you can just do a Jordan count instead of doing an Elmsley count. And if the card was for some reason in the second position, now you can just do an OPEC count instead of doing an Elmsley count and moving it to the third position. You can do an Elmsley count from basically any of these three positions right over here, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys use these moves in your tricks. I think they're pretty nice. And yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.